Let's go up. Let's go. Oh, I almost hit that tree. Oh, God. No, come back. Come back. Oh, no. Welcome back everybody. It's been a while since I filmed so this feels good, but I have a confession to make. I never really understood the whole drone craze. There's so much hype around it. They're all really expensive. All the good ones are the ones you hear about. I just never really got the whole trend. But recently, a company named Trend Labs reached out to me with a budget option. This is the Fader drone. It's a budget take on the modern drone market. Now the price tag is $130. However, they did sponsor this video. Huge shout out to them. And they're offering 20% off to you guys. So it's only about $100 link down below. We're also giving one of these as well as a pair of their headphones away, information at the end of the video. But I want to emphasize that this is not a paid promotion video. All opinions are my own and I reserve any right to mention criticisms, which is especially important because this is a new product category to me. So any new flaws or flaws with the product category in general are definitely worth mentioning. So starting with a quick overview of the drone itself, the first thing you'll notice is how small it is. It literally fits in your hand like that. That makes it super portable and easy to carry around, which is a very underrated feature. I know with those bigger drones I see a lot of creators complaining that it's annoying to put in a backpack or fit anywhere this thing can fit in anything it's durable you can throw it around uh, I definitely like the size of it of course that has trade-offs with like hardware and stuff but it is a good size uh, obviously you have your four propellers as well as safety guards so if you actually flew it first indoors and hit a wall but it didn't break because there are safety guards on there so that's pretty nice and the other important thing I'd say is the camera on the front now it is a fixed camera so you can't change the angle or anything but it does have HD 720p recording which in today's market obviously Obviously you want 1080p or higher, but it is only $100 and it's a drone first, then has the camera, so it's definitely acceptable. And then it has a little removable battery back here, and I'll talk more about that later. It of course also comes with the controller. It's a pretty basic drone controller. I'll still give a quick overview. It's got the normal two sticks for controlling the drone in flight, a bunch of buttons that I don't actually know the functionality of, but don't need to worry about. Uh, the two back ones here, I know this one is used to actually stop the propellers and you can just drop it to the ground. And then it has this mount for your phone. You just pull it out like that, and then you can put your phone in there because there's an app that you connect with your phone and it connects to the Wi-Fi network that's outputted by the drone and that's how you can get a live video feed. Something that I'm very happy is in this drone even despite the price tag, uh, a live video feed to me at least is a must with a drone that you're flying. So now I'm actually going to fly it and show that process. I apologize for any wind that's in the mic. We're outside and I only have the Rode Video Mic Pro. I didn't bring all my equipment down uh, so just bear with me there. So to get it started the first thing you do I'm actually going to load up the app first which is fader right there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the drone on by just pressing that button. You can't see it, but there are LEDs on the bottom of the drone. You can see them very well at night. That's a nice addition. And then turn on the controller as well. So you hear a beep, that means it's good. All right, so you can see that it automatically connected me to the Wi-Fi network that's outputted by the drone. So I'm good there. So I can go over to the fader app and click fly. Hopefully you can see that and it bugged out a little bit. That has actually happened to me before, but it usually just works the second time around. So now you can see the app is on. So uh, I'll just keep the screen right there. I hope you can see that. Um, and I'll face the camera at us. I think you can see that. All right, so here we're gonna see the limits of a one-man team a little bit while I'm down here. I'm gonna try to fly the drone over in that gap over there and get a video of like the field over there. I don't know how far it's gonna be able to go without losing uh, reception. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, I haven't flown it too high in the sky at all yet, so that takes it off. And I'm gonna be looking at the screen so I kind of know where it's going. And I'll record a video so you can see that. So video recording. Let's go this way. So it's, it's over there now. I don't, oh, oh. Let's go up, let's go, oh, I almost hit that tree. Oh, God. No, come back, come back, oh, no. That did not go as planned. We got eaten alive by fire ants and I almost lost the drone, and I couldn't even get it that high. So, the wind was worse out in the field, and it was much harder to control. The wind is definitely hard. What I'm gonna do now is just try to take it up, um, facing the field, up from right here, and try to just keep it as close to us as possible. 10 seconds later. I'm gonna, no, come back down. No, come back. No, I don't wanna go out there again. Come back. 
All right, so time for impressions. Now, it's worth noting only one of those videos saved. My thought would be because once it got too far away, the Wi-Fi disconnected, uh, and then it was, it just canceled the video file completely. Uh, so impressions, pros. It is an inexpensive drone for being a drone. $100 in terms of drones is not that expensive, and it's a great start for beginners. It lets you get used to handling a drone and just get used to that whole environment with a drone in the air without having to be using a $1,000 gadget that you're worried about breaking. So those are both good things. All right, so cons. The two biggest ones are stability and the wind. It's so light, the wind is really determining where it's going, and that's a big problem. I had to run after it twice. And the, the con number two is the camera quality. It's not that great. You can still see things and show people the footage and be like, oh, this is this. And they would know what they're looking at and see it, but it's not something that I would use as a tool to put in a YouTube video or anything. It's not quite there. It is technically 720p HD, but I think it's more the bit rate that's a problem with that. However, I'm still impressed that I have a camera at all and a $100 drone. Now the last thing I want to mention is that this gave me a good taste for drones. I mentioned that as a con, it's a great drone for beginners. This gave me a taste of kind of what drones are all about and all of the better drones can overcome the shortcomings that this one had. So it got me, it got me to understand the craze kind of. Like everyone says like, when I ask them about it like, what's like, why are you so obsessed with drones? Or just like, just fly one or try one out and you'll understand. And I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe. But after flying this, I, I think I kind of get it. And so now a goal of 2017 for me is to get a little bit more into drones. So conclusion time, would I spend $100 on this? I would lean towards yes. $100 is pretty inexpensive in the range for drones, and you're getting a drone that you can control wirelessly, you have a live video feed, and you can record videos from it. And all of those are pretty impressive feats and a lot of technology for just $100. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a giveaway. We're giving away one of these drones as well as a pair of headphones that Trend Labs offers. All you gotta do to enter is just comment down below. In a week, I'll announce the winner in a comment down below. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for, oh my gosh, the fire ants are all over me. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy.